Well, hello there, Rimrims and other filthy sacks of limbs. Welcome back to Rimworld, where yesterday our people were reduced to, I think, very appropriately filthy sacks of limbs because we accidentally... Okay, accidentally, em em emphasis on that, uh, may have attacked a an exotic goods trader from the Empire, which has put us on a... It's put us on a bit of a bad foot, given that we had Marge chainsaw all of their people. Uh, not to mention after that, our dragons decided to wander off and go and attack a massive mechanoid ship, one of the biggest we've had this series, uh, when we were completely unprepared. So I want to, before we do anything else, say go through and check all of our people. I haven't assessed really the overall damage from that. Everybody's healed. Everybody's fine. No worries of infections. There were a couple of infections on the dragons, but other than that, we're actually surprisingly okay. The problem is we've got a lot of permanent damage now. And I think as a result, we may have to switch focus maybe to some bionics. So let's take a look through and kind of assess what happened here. Um, oh, herbivore mind. What does that mean? I don't like the sound of that. This first suit gives the wearer knowledge about growing and preparing meals. Oh, that's actually good. Oh, that sounds fine then. Uh, that's because John, the cowman, you might notice is wearing a, a cow hat to get more in touch with his cow side. He is already kind of in touch with his cow side, I will admit. Um, as for permanent damage then, really doesn't look too bad. He, he already had all this damage anyway, so I think John got away with it. Martinez is missing a middle finger. Um, Berger, right, so Berger had his torso shredded. That is a, a permanent from that mammoth worm yesterday. But other than that, seems, seems fine. Um, filthy animal lost a toe to frostbite. Again, not really a problem. Rambo and Katala and Marge, no permanent damage. Wow, actually, we got away with that a lot better than I thought. Now, I want to check the dragons next, because I'm a bit concerned that our animals here... Oh, yeah, here you go. So, Sigma, Draconis, both of their eyes... I renamed the Rerulian dragon, because they were just called uh, Rerulian dragon. I thought it was a bit weird. A Mangled Skull and a Burn Skull. They're obviously both of that coming from the previous encounter. And both of it friendly fire, literally. My bad. Uh, never mind. Burn Skull from the Kulin and a Shredded Scar for uh, Jennifer Whiffle Sniff, our giant Brachiosaurus. A burn scar and a shredded scar as well on Sphinx. Holy crap. Bacon droid is pregnant. Congratulations. Uh, Sut has a burn scar and a mangled scar as well. What the hell is going on here? It's everybody. Okay. Uh, we got a, Okay, those guys are fine. You wouldn't expect the guinea pig to be in the middle of combat. So Lilith is, Lilith is okay. Bear arms is uh, almost entirely feral. People were asking what happened to Bert. Bert, unfortunately, also lost his sapience to the extent he's still around. He is just... Uh, he is unfortunately just regressing back to dinosaur, and there isn't much we can do about that. Uh, left eye, scratch scar, rear left leg, old gunshot. S shredded scar on biggest dick is his brain. Uh, everything has just been absolutely shredded here. Mangled scar on Bert's brain, but he's obviously fine. We, we knew that from before. His fifth tentacle has been cut off. I know how he feels. Um, Thomas Laurie and Bradford there. Mangled scar in the eye. It's painful, but it's not bad enough, I would say, to want a bionic replacement. Um, oh my god, bacon bits. I'm so sorry. <laughs> We've got, we, we tamed one of these, uh, Quetzal, uh, sorry, no, they are the, uh, Tilakoatl. These kind of big, horrifying snake creatures, so that is now called, uh, Bergen von Smurgen. Uh, other than that, though, they are absolutely fine. To be honest, the ones I'm really worried about are the, thank you for that, are the, uh, Kulin. Oh my god, yeah, here we go. Permanent, oh, that's really bad. Wow. Permanent gunshot injury to the brain. 14 out of 36, so brain is down to 39% efficiency and a crack in the spine too. Okay, that's not nearly as bad. We've only lost 7% on that. Wow, the permanent gunshot injury to the brain is terrible. Oh no! Shredded scar on the brain for our second Kulin. We've lost 19% efficiency on that one. Left eye has a cut scar, taking it down to 63%. The tail has a burn scar from the other Kulin. That's only 1%, that's fine. And also a permanent crack in the spine, but that one's way more significant for this one. Holy shit, 46% efficiency loss there. Wow. Oh, no. Poor Sideshow as well. Left eye and right eye. Oh, was that who we started with? I think so. Uh, Keith has a mangle scar. Holy crap. That was... That was a massacre then for our creatures. Yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised given that they were doing most of the heavy lifting there. Our people got away with it, but the, the animals definitely didn't. In that case then, given that both of the Kulin have broken spines and broken brains... I think I have to go into bionics. So today's goal then, along with expanding the seven circles of Joris, or in this case, the three circles of Joris, will also go for a overpowered fox, overpowered bionic program. 
they can mine the steel that we'll then use to upgrade them. Now, we can also give them... Uh, we've got Xenobiotic Patch. I just like playing with Xenobiotic Patch because I think it's fun. We will be able to upgrade them with any Bionics we want. And we do have the Bionic Toolbox mod. Um, so we might even be able to give them Drill Hands, which would be incredible. Though they don't have hands already. Maybe it works. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Uh, we'll have to put down... I actually started building a hospital because I thought if this happens again, we got very lucky that we didn't get any infections. We don't have materials for it. And it's, it's made even worse now that our foxes have been uh, have been crippled the way they have. So I put down this little base expansion to keep things nice and symmetrical. We could build all the Barnex facilities out here. We also need a room for the Holixian slug because I decided to let all of our named animals out of storage. Um, now that we've stored a bunch of animals too, we can we can kind of safely let them out. The problem with the Helixian is it is very, very stinky. Ah, and Martinius has been uh, working on some of the weapons there. He's actually only made two of them because, uh, you know, everyone's basically been bedridden. Um, so we've got another charged sniper. I suppose I'll give that to Burger. There you go. That way, if we do get any more mechanoids, we're kind of, you know, we're kind of ready for them. Actually, I need to set them to equip that, don't I, rather than picking it up. There we go. We're basically ready for them now. Well, we're not ready for them at all, but we've got much better. We're not fighting them with revolvers at this point. We've actually got charged weaponry, which I feel a bit more confident about. So we don't have any Barnics research done quite yet. What we have is uh, whatever we've got in the machining table and the uh, fabrication bench, which is actually very little now that I look through it. What I also want to build then, if we're going full on cyborg, magic, hyper overpowered foxes, we can also build somewhere. I don't know where. Was it the tailor bench? The Kulin power armor. Yeah, there it is. Kulin energy shield armor. We need chill belts, which I believe we actually do have a couple of there. Um, what are we lacking? Plasteel. Oh, apparently we don't have the chill belt. I must have sold them. That's okay. We can always uh, quickly churn out the research for those. Never thought I'd research making shield belts. I don't think I've ever legitimately used a shield belt properly in uh, in RimWorld. Couple of those queued up. I need to make sure before we do that, though, that we have... I think it's still disabled, but just in case. Should have no shield belts on here. Yeah, we're good. So we'll make a couple of those as well. If we're investing all this time and effort and resources into making those foxes even more powerful, we've got to protect our assets, you know? So we'll go for that. I wonder if they can also wear... So the energy shield armor covers torso, neck... Oh, it's got head protection built in. I was going to say we'll make them the animal power armor too, but we're good. So I actually don't think we've got any bionics we can make right now. Yeah, we've got nothing. Oh, shit. All right. Fair enough. Well, let's get some researching done then immediately. Why don't we just queue up all the bionics? Just go, just go kind of mad about it. Were they up here? Yeah, here we go. Advanced brain surgery would be pretty nice to get early. Uh, Barnix spine, I want to get earlier too. And then we'll just go for everything else. And then all of the other Barnix are a lot behind tech prints. And we've just alienated the only real space of tech faction that can sell those to us. So, um, my bad. <laughs> and you know what? I think I forgot to build another comms console. I read it, obviously, all this room. And I think I forgot to put another one down. My bad. We can always, um... We can always fit it in this room. That's, that's that's decently convenient, I suppose. Move that piano over a little bit. Oh, right. And of course, in the background, uh, we also managed to tame Jorrit Lodge, which we set up like at the start of yesterday's episode. So of course, that was bound to happen eventually. If I check the messages tab quickly here, history and messages, we also... John also got a Will of the Wisp. So that's a 2.9% chance. And we also had a Black Spider self-tame, which is pretty cool. That's why this guy is here. It must be from that Black Hive invasion. Must have just uh, chilled out there. So we do have a couple of other cool little animals that I'll probably load into the... Uh, we've got a couple of spare biovats now from where I've let some animals out. So I'll throw some of these into... Are we able to anesthetize a ball of fire? That is another Joris in containment. I'll just quickly rustle up Jorrit Lodge. With that... Boom, there we go. We can call in another Joris drop pod. I'm more than happy to do that now. So let's go for... Don't be a duplicate. If it's a duplicate, we'll just immediately spawn in another one. It's a Juby do. Second time's a charm. Here we go. Jordan Freeman. Hey, that's a new one. Fantastic. Let's get you tamed as soon as possible. Uh, John, get you on that right away. Does this cow helmet change anything? Uh, apparently they also got married? All right, to Katala. It's buzzing in 25 days. It must have been recently then. Damn. <laughs> Everyone else is holding up that a secret marriage. Come on. Come on. Whispering about training I I I Ibis. What, 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 what is even that? Go. 18% chance. Okay, so about the same as uh, about the same as the others. And the second we build a... Uh, who'd have guessed it? A trade console. We've got an exotic goods trader. So we're looking for any tech prints, ideally, now for some of the more advanced bionics. Is that moth just playing the piano? <laughs> Whoa. Crescendo and all. What are you? Uh, a, big, a big old lizard? 445. I don't know if that's even worth buying, to be honest with you. Skin hardening. Cataphract armor. Mutasim for bovids. 
Okay. Um, we could potentially turn John actually into a proper cowman. What is this? Sapia Storm Mesh. Whoa. Brought to back up and restore point for intelligence. Gradually restoring sapience. There. Thank you. Right, so somebody in the comment section yesterday, and I fucking called them out for this, because you were, you people don't listen to me when I talk. I was going through the research table yesterday, and I was saying, oh, where's the, you know, where's this implant that people told me about? I can't seem to find it. And then someone left a comment saying, oh, he's moused over the mutagenic stabilizer twice. Oh, why does he never read anything? And someone else was like, yeah, Mr. Streamer never changes. You fucking people. If you actually listen to what I'm talking about, I quite clearly said implant. I have four thousand hours in this game anyway we're gonna buy the uh the sapia store mesh because i think that's um i think that's quite handy and you know i have played porn morpher before <clears throat> do you want to buy a tyrannosaurus rex skull that'd be kind of cool and, and to be honest i kind of feel like we should get it ourselves. it'd be kind of fun to have in marge's bedroom or, or like in uh well we're not gonna do a gift shop anymore we've kind of we kind of moved past that oh do you need two tech prints for cataphract armor too you do don't you there's not much point buying buying one unless we can get both in my opinion um we could sell them all of this crap because really we we need more we would need way more dragons than that to make it viable let's sell them the yayo oh no we can get it we can get it that's absolutely fine who'd have thought that the drugs trade might have paid off eh uh advanced power claw power power arms it's not really worth it i'd, I'd rather make it myself as well I, it would be cheaper to buy the plastic and obviously use the skill of our colonists to do that instead to be honest if we can afford some plastic too that'd be ideal let's get rid of the stabilizers uh, let's get rid of the dragon scales too. Just see if we can kind of break even somehow. Oh, 216. There's got to be something we can sell. I'm not going to sell an animal. There's got to be something we can sell here. Uh, sell the luciferum. The one I was keeping it for an emergency in case someone got like real bad brain damage. Oh, no, it is good to keep that. God, this is a hard choice. Um, well, look, let's, let's sell off something we can replace. Let's sell the neutramine. Let's sell off like a few advanced components. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's fine. Boom. This is... This has become the furry series. Everybody has asked me to <laughs> ask me to make once around cat ears. He's got a fucking cow suit on and is also a cow. Right, John, when you're when you're quite finished, friend, in your own time. I mean, it is time to work now. Let's go ahead and get all these tech prints applied. Actually, you know what? We'll just get him to apply enough because it gives experience. We obviously don't want to. Okay, that, you know, we should be fine. Oh, that owl cat is back. Somebody said that apparently they um they will just resurrect one tick later. And I asked what happens if they're eaten, but apparently they are dead for only because they're only dead for one tick. They'll resurrect before they actually get the uh, get the opportunity to be eaten. Although it did just eat my fish, so I am tempted to change that tame button to a hunt button. There we go. Fantastic. Okay. Marge gets cataphract armor. To be honest, I kind of prefer Siege Breaker. She's technically not wearing Siege Breaker, I should point out. She's got recon armor there, which probably explains why she went down so fast. Does her marine boots? She's got a lot of jewelry on there, too. Does that actually count? Is she, is she all right now with her apparel? Nope, she really is not. What more do you want, Marge? Uh, you know what? We'll make her the cataphract armor. No. No, stick to making her the siege breaker armor. Because that way, I mean, I mean, it's got more defensive. It's, it's got, well, it's got the shield, but slightly lower defensive stats than cataphract armor. And I think overall it is still better when you factor that in as well. I just want to make some of this grenadier armor. Oh, God, we need another good crafter, don't we? Paul Martinez has far too much on his plate, given that he's also our best... Given that he's also our best, uh, well, crafter and good at animal handling and good at building. I just want to get a dedicated researcher here. What about filthy animal? What are you doing? You're growing plants and making drugs. Mm. I'm going to I'm gonna flip you over. Oh, but we, uh, well, Catala's also a dedicated plant. Here, let's get Ramble on it too. Marge is building. And then when Marge isn't building, she is working on plants. All right, fine. You know what? We, we should be all right. We'll just keep an eye on it. You know, if our plants aren't getting sown or whatever in time, then we'll uh, then we'll panic and swap it around a little bit. Have we got another chainsaw handy? Uh, no. Who's got a spare chainsaw? Martinez, I'm taking that chainsaw. You're not going to have a chance to uh, make plants anyway. Probably also worth mentioning, I've started training the animals up in hauling. Now, because we don't have to constantly... I know the big bonus to the biovats is, is animals, when they're tamed and in a biovat, they're never going to lose training. Whereas if we had all 74 animals free range, John would have to be training them just to keep them tame always. Same with Martinis. But now that a lot of them are locked down here, we haven't got to worry about that so much. So it means that we can actually start training them to be useful with, with hauling and things like that. What the hell is even that? A Quetzalcoatlus. Give me that. And then we've also got an Ankylosaurus, which I'll definitely also take. I haven't done a sweep of the map today. See what we've got going for us. Terramorphs. Uh, I'm all right. I, I like my steel where it is. Thank you. We've already got one, I think, in a, in a buyback. Oh, Brontosaurus. Those are some of the highest uh, point animals in the game. 
So 70, 7100? Oh, 3500, 3, yeah, of course. Please, uh... Please. Oh! Clearly the game realized we've got two charge weapons now, so I wanted to up the ante. 11 centipedes and a mutagenic ship part. Luckily, they've, they've fallen behind where this old mech cluster landed, so they're, they're kind of sheltered and probably not going to cause as much issue. God. Yeah. <sighs> we've only been playing for 10 minutes, and I'm already at my limit. But we did also get a, uh, a zoological trader here. Looks like they've got some rad yaks and a Yorkshire terrier and a chameleon yak for sale. I'll definitely buy a couple of those. That's a goose with a bow on its head. I'm also buying that for sure. Hello. I'm here for your, for your duck. Nice. Uh, Yorkshire Terrier? We don't have a Yorkshire Terrier. Radiax for sure I want to buy. They're actually worth a lot of points. Um, you guys want some stuff? Oh, we can sell them all this fucking wool that we've got. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take the lot. Nice. There we go. Let's have some Radiac and the, uh, the Christmas duck there. Fantastic. <laughs> Bloody Joris disappeared. It absolutely did. You son of a bitch. Bonosaurus, Quetzalcoatlus, Ankylosaurus. It must have been eaten immediately. Oh, God. Every time. Every, oh, it might have even just walked off the map. Okay, let's call in a fresh one then. That's a bit of a shame. We did get two chances to tame it. That's Jock Excellente. We don't need a Jock Excellente. Okay, here we go. Ah, Joris the Pooh. John approached the Joris the Pooh while whispering to himself about the link between absent friends and Von Neumann probes. <laughs> hey, 99% chance. Well, that one was easy. Okay, let's get you... Uh, Anesthetized. So this apia store mesh, can we install it in an animal who's already started to degrade? If so, we could get Bear Arms back on the team. And Bear Arms and Bert, of course. Oh, actually, getting Bert back might be higher tier. I'm sorry, Bear Arms, but we need a dedicated researcher. Why don't we try it? So Sapia store, I, I, I don't think it works kind of retroactively because he's already feral. I'm not sure it will really help beyond this. Oh, no, 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 no. Hang on, look. Gradually restoring sapiens and prevents further loss. Transforms, transfers between forms if reverted or changed. Well, let's give it a go then. Sure. John, let's get on that straight away. Get Bert back upon his feet. We also got a couple of bionics from that trade caravan that I accidentally ambushed. So we've got a field hand for uh, Katala. Katala doesn't need a replacement hand. It might be better to give it to John because John's actually missing an entire hand. But Katala is our plant expert. 18.25 double passion in that. So I figured with the field hand as well. I mean, it, it, we've got so many vats to fill with bio kind of uh, organic matter. We've got so many animals to feed, so many people to feed. Why don't we just double down? If we give her two field hands and, and kind of work speed bonuses. John. 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 You're going in the fucking biovat, you little animal. Yeah, so like I was saying, we're going to botch the surgery there and, uh, you know, make her, make her learn naturally. Uh, I wouldn't want to make it too easy for our people or <laughs> even remotely viable to keep this many animals. Jokes on John because he's about to undergo brain surgery because we also got two psychic readers. And for a social character, a psychic reader is um, pretty high tier. <laughs> You're in a lot of trouble now. Oh, damn it. You know, if that would have failed, I'd have, I'd have, I'd have been all right with that. Get a little bit of karma. So Bert is 22% sapient right now. Let's keep an eye on it and see if it does increase. Because it doesn't really make much sense that it would increase. But, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. I, I mean, look, according to the description, it does seem like it might. Purple Nebula Dragon. We already have a Purple Nebula Dragon. It's a bit of a shame. Oh, John. Oh, that thing could pet your eyes out in no time. Okay, let's be careful of that. Well, now, what do we get? We got Joris. So, Joris the Pooh has already done. I suppose we could drop on another Joris now. I do need to move it into a... Oh, Jordan Freeman's right there. What, we tamed it? Yeah, so we're doing... <laughs> we're doing pretty well on that front. I thought it was a bit weird that he left the map so fast. Keeping an eye on John, I guess Martinius snuck in there and grabbed it when I wasn't looking. Where's uh, Joris the Pooh as well? We'll make sure that guy is anesthetized and thrown in too. And then we're doing pretty well on the doing pretty well on the Joris front. All right, Jordan Freeman, here we go. Nice. There's another one in. Now I did want to arrange the Joris is based on their kind of danger levels. Uh, maybe like Chainsaw Joris and Jock Excellente should be moved into this second level, given that one has, you know, <laughs> chainsaws for feet. Oh, a Draconic Goods Trader. This is where we bought the egg, right? I think we've got anything left to sell, but he does have 50% bonus to his negotiations, so maybe uh. Maybe we could afford something cool from this. What have we got for me? True dragon leather. Man, that'd be nice. Blue nebula dragon. We don't have a blue ne nebula dragon. The true dragons are the most powerful, uh, uh, most expensive dragons. So if we ever see one of those, it's we've got to move heaven and earth to make that work. How on earth am I going to fund 11,000 silver? Some of the bear skin. I thought we could keep the bear skin because we're going to be probably killing a lot of bears. 
Um, keep the grinder. Let's keep all the tools that we've bothered crafting, and I guess I'll kind of sell the rest. Oh, we've got the shield belts. Yeah, there's no way in hell we're going to be able to afford this. Yeah, not a chance. Oh, well, never mind. But the addition there of Joris the Pooh, that takes up to 11 total Joruses. Let's go down another one. Give me that. Give me that card. Now, now, bear in mind, obviously, the more we get, the more chance we've got duplicates. So, fucking an another one. Another one. How dare you? Okay, here we go. Another... Okay. <laughs> That's 42. We've got 11. So we are getting a little bit unlucky here. Go on. Ah! Jovid Bowie. Tissue printer. Who's... Oh, Filthy Animal is researching. Oh, nice. Fantastic. Hey, there we go. So the tissue printer allows you to basically recreate organic, quote-unquote, organs. Uh, it doesn't offer any of the kind of crazy cyber-powered upgrades, which I'm, which I'm really after here. Battle Animals wandering too. A group of Tyrannosaurus Rex wandered in and they're accustomed to human contact. Holy shit. Well, I'm going to kill one of them, but, uh, wow. Oh my God. We've got Joris killing Joruses. Holy crap. Talk about free animal. Whoa. Okay. Well, that's, uh, that's kind of cool. That up there. Yeah, it's a 36 point animal. Wow. Oh, nice. Well, that was, that was pretty good to get one of the best animals in the game for free there. Well, let's some clothes or shit that we could wear to make taming animals a little bit better. Social impact. Social impact affect animals? I assume not. Uh, dusters, jackets. There's got to be something in here, right? Tanuki is in a Tanuki tail. Do give 1% bonuses each. So that's an extra 2%. It's not massive, but it is It is better than nothing right now. Because his cow... I didn't realize that the, that the kind of fursuits gave bonuses or negatives, depending on, on what you've actually got there. I've had a look through and I can't see anything that would... Uh, that would potentially allow us to tame animals a little bit faster, other than the tanuki plug and the ears. Uh, what's the difference between that and the, uh, that and the tuka? I assume the tuka also gives, like, insulation. Uh, 1.2% versus 9.5. Yeah, okay, let's go make those for John. It's getting all sorts of weird. Here we go. Come on, John. <laughs> Kept calm when approaching the German Bowie. That's so good. 18%. Same as all the others. Okay, we can take that up to 20%. With some very embarrassing clothes. Just sorted out every single person's loadout manually. Because it turns out with the weapons tab mod, it doesn't allow for multiple sidearms. And if you do equip the multiple sidearms, they just throw it on the floor. Um, so everybody's got more or less exactly what they need. Everybody's got a charge weapon now. Which means this, which we'll have to go and deal with in a second, is uh, actually something we can deal with now, which is pretty nice. We did get Jovid Bowie. We also got the big spiky dinosaur. There's another one for the collection. Wow. How many more? So we've got four more biovats. I hate the fact they built that one down there first. Yeah, he's definitely not an inner circle Joris, but we'll worry about actually taming them all first. Then we'll we'll shift them around afterwards. Otherwise, you have to forbid them forbid biorets. If biorets are forbidden, you can't actually haul anything to a biorector. It was something I figured out a moment ago when I was trying to put something up here, and then because I have one forbid down here, it was forbidding all of them for whatever strange reason. Let's call in one more. Then after that, we are going to have to deal with these mechanoids. Otherwise, it's going to get very much out of hand. Ah, oh, Emo Joris. Come on, John. Here we go. Straight away. Watch this. Boom. Tamed. Fuck. <laughs> you stupid cow, man. Did also get the Brontosaurus. You probably can't tell because it's below this <laughs> fucking mass of animals. I assume. Right, yeah. So the biovats are too small to haul those in for the time being. Uh, I will I will increase the maximum size of them when I, when I get the chance. Damn, that's a shame. Uh, well, actually, I might just be clicking in the wrong place. Yeah, see, there's Brontosaurus one. Yeah, we can't carry that to a biovac quite yet. Moods are fucking incredible, though. How's how's that going, eh? Tended a colony ton of animals. Obviously, you're always going to be more or less fine. Uh, Martinius. Tended a wedding. Also got... Oh, it's because everybody got fucking married. Burger attended two weddings. You got married and attended two weddings. You got married. You got married. And you got married. Everybody got married. Wait, so everybody's married to someone except for poor Burger? We've only got seven people, so that would make sense. Oh... The odd one out. Here we go, John. Here we go. 18%. John. What the fuck? Unfinished dragon leather overalls work left minus 166. <laughs> oh, wait. Well, it still doesn't make any sense. Whatever. We're just going to cancel that for the timing. Can we not make the... Ah, oh, there we go. Tanuki is. I think we're going to have to go for it. Uh, I think we're going to have to stop this pretty damn soon because this is getting out of hand. So let's take... Here's the plan then. Let's take everybody and let's see if we can get the centipedes distracted by the the animals and then bring these guys in afterwards what i'm really hoping for is while they're all bunched together while they're all asleep getting everything in there and getting like four simultaneous dragon breaths all concentrated in the same spot that'll do a lot of damage that'll be massive 
So I've put down a sweaty fox area, like just along this wall. I want I want all of the dragons to obviously attack simultaneously. So we're gonna go ahead and set them to pacifist, and then we'll go sweaty fox. Uh, let's take Sideshow and do the same thing with all of them. Now, this is obviously a massive gamble because the, uh, uh, I mean, the Kulin especially, they're already quite heavily damaged. And all it would take was a, was a couple of unlucky charge blast shots to kill them dead. If your brain's on at 50% capacity, that's half as much you've got to kill. Don't think about that too much. And with these guys, let's see if it, by toggling that off, they won't go aggressive. I don't know if they'll still run in. You're like going for a melee attack instead. I'm really, really hoping they don't. Oh, no, no, no. We want Sweaty Fox, don't we? Uh, there we go. Okay, so it's everything bunched up. Everybody's ready to go. They shouldn't be mutating at this distance. Oh, no, they are. Wow. Well, so we've got to be very careful about hanging around here for too long. Mutant Journey Builder, well, that that won't start mutating them quite yet, right? They're beginning to build up in the pawn system, which will induce mutations at a high enough concentration, right? So we've got a little time. In that case, let's get out of range and bring them in after the fact. So is everybody there? We're ready to go, right? So let's go and do something like, like that. Mm, yeah, something like that. Clear off Sweaty Fox. Now they shouldn't attack. They shouldn't attack. There might be some other strange mechanic that I'm not. All right then. All right then. Okay then. All right. So that's obviously just a cosmetic toggle button. Fucking thing. Um. Right. So you. Are basically in position. You start firing. Start blasting. Uh, you. Molten breath. Void breath. I have no idea which is better. Let's see if we can take out the ship. Then we can bring our people in safely. Uh, you're going to go nebula dragon breath. And uh, who have I not fired off with yet? Keith. Keith, Keith, Keith. Get him. Get him, Keith. Massive. 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 Good, good shit. Sideshow's firing. Why are you firing at such a weird angle, you strange man? One of them didn't get shot off there. Oh, they did. It was just simultaneous. It looked as if they were doing two separate attacks. Got it. Right, you fire off that one. Now, that one stuns, from what I recall. So, that'd be kind of good to get that going now. Uh, who have I not fired off? Okay, so you're fired off. You need to go for... Fleeing! No, no, no. No fleeing. How dare you flee? Ah! Oh, come back here, you shit dragon. Okay, they're stunned. They're stunned. They're stunned. Oh, now they're getting in for melee. You're fleeing again. Well, why don't we go ahead and... If we say unrestricted now, I, th I think the reason they're fleeing is because their breaths are on cooldown. And they can't hit them from a distance. So they're just trying to avoid taking damage. So let's do something like that. Really appreciate if you use that Molten Breath before our people got in there. But that's... <laughs> that's okay. Don't worry. Get him. Keith! Fucking Keith, fire! There we go, there we go, there we go. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Where are you going? Oi, come back! These animals. Are you just standing out on fire? Fucking creatures, you drive me insane. While they're distracted, let's get our people coming in, doing some doing some damage here. Now, I'm going to start taking apart some holes in the wall so we can get some uh, some sites of attack. Marge, let's get you ready to start dismantling. John, move up. Oh, is John going to have the range for this? Maybe if we swap him out for Filthy Animal. Whoa, Jesus, okay. Hello there. Uh, Right, you head south. Uh, Burger, haul ass. Oh, Jesus, this is bad. Wow, this is really, this is really going badly. This is going, like, very, very, very badly. Um, I don't quite understand how this is fucked up so much. These centipedes are, like, so fucking strong. That'll do it, that'll do it, that'll do it, that'll do it. Okay, okay, okay. So let's go open another site up here. Marge, work on that one. Let's get John, like, there. Burger, there. Nice work. That'll open that up. I vividly remember in the Glitter Void series, these dragons being so tanky. Maybe they got nerfed after that. <laughs> Because <laughs> when it, they were fighting up, up against those giant void monsters, which are so difficult to kill, even with the strongest weapons in the game. And Keith, like, held his own there for a long ass time. These, like, are, are awful. They're so pathetic now. What happened? Is that, like, five centipedes down? Nice, six. Uh, Burger and Katala jokes about breakfast cereal. Now's the fucking time. That's appropriate. <laughs> John can't do anything. We could send John on, like, a little, little bit of a covert mission here, go around the back. Oh, you know what? Actually, it's fine. Okay. Okay. Maybe I underestimated the uh, the dragons more than I expected. We got one more. We got one more. Come on. Come on. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is ridiculous. How long does it take to kill a single centipede? Get in there. Kill him. Right. We're good. Now, how are we looking for... Okay. So, Kulin 2 is fine now. Yeah, you know what? Everything's kind of okay. It's not nearly as bad as I anticipated. I suppose the real problem came from the fact they were taking a lot of burn damage and they were being downed by that, even though they're dragons. It doesn't... It, it wasn't nearly as bad as I thought. Sideshow's in a little bit of trouble there. Um, but we get you stabilized. K 
Keith is fine. 44 condition the intending. Secret Draconis is fine. Sorsha is is untouched. Kulin 2 is, is okay. Yeah, it was just Sideshow. What happened to Thomas? You just kind of fucked off. You like left earlier. John? What the fuck? But we killed the ship. Is anyone else affected by it? Uh, no. Minor, minor, no, minor, initial, moderate. Why? The ship's gone. Is it the plants? Do the plants do I think the plants do, don't they, in hindsight? Okay, bulbs. Actually, I'm not sure. Well, John mutated again. It was already a cow, man. So, um, what's wrong with him now, then? Let's take a peek. Uh, light hair pressing out. Obviously, oh, still got his bovine, so that's nice. Reared, his legs are readjusting. Cracking and breaking like that. Very cursed horse comic. You know the one. And I'm getting the strangest deja vu between today's episode and yesterday's episode. We tame three Jorises, then a mutagenic ship drops and completely annihilates us. <laughs> so much for my Cyber Fox program. We barely got any research done there at all, but I wish we could get Bert. I mean, it hasn't actually, I did check a minute ago, but it hasn't actually had any effect on a sapience whatsoever. The fact that it said restore sapience, I guess, only implies if it had sapience when you in install it. Like I said, it's not retroactive. It's it's after the implant is actually added in. So so the way we could restore Bert is with the uh, um, Reverter Serum, which requires a lot of research just to get to that point by the looks of it. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm going to do that, though. We revert him, and then we revert him back to a Stegosaurus afterwards with a tagging rifle. This is the part of Paul Morphor I've actually never got into before. Um... So we need injectors too. So, so you use the tagging rifle to get the genetic information. And then you put them in a mutagenic chamber to mutate them into the animal you want. They maintain their sapience, but they take... So, so how do we build the mutagenic chamber? That's something I've never used before. Mutagenic centrifuging? Uh, mutagenic chamber. Oh, it's just called chambers. Right, got it. So in the long term, it would probably be quicker to... Uh, Maybe put Martinius on training animals. Let John go back to researcher for the time being. Between John and Filthy Animal, they can crack out a lot of high tier research. Pretty pretty fast, I would assume. Bring Bert back, and I finally learn how the, the genetic side of Pawn Morpher works. We've only ever really used it to weaponize meteorites and laugh when people turn into animals. We've never used it in its kind of intended way of gathering data and turning people into the animals that you want them to in order to get some use out of them. And I will make Bert a Stegosaurus again, and if we transform Bert back into the Stegosaurus, we'll actually be able to keep his sapience super, super high. We've got a lot of goals. We've got a lot of goals to do here. We've got to make the foxes bionic, super bionic. We've got to get Bert back to human, then back to Stegosaurus again to restore his intelligence. Then we've got to try and repair everybody else and give them all bionics as well, along with taming these freaking Joris is that's gonna take forever at this rate we get emo Joris though was that was that the kind of last shit did we not actually get it in the end hang on let's check uh first thing, let me check the animals tab oh god is this really gonna help no emo Joris is still wild look one last attempt let's go one last attempt today to try and get emo Joris because that will give us another what three or four Joris over the course of today Marge I kind of notice you got a tail thick skin hard nails Kind of time limits in their mobility. Horse tail. She's, she's becoming a horse, horse -a lady Marge. Can think of a more appropriate animal to lord over all the others. Well, I think that's pretty on brand for an emo, Joris. Once again, John the Cowman, or I guess John the Dogman now, has failed. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get him. We'll get him tomorrow. Don't you worry about it. Thank you all for watching. Thank you, John the Cowman, who I guess is now John the Dogman. And a big thank you, of course to the patrons for making this episode of Rimworld possible in the first place. A big thank you goes out to Shadow1317, Zaka, Nightwitch, Ben B, Spidey Cloned, Virga of Doom, X, Dr. Don, MD, Holy Reapers, El Scorchio82, Spongy1312, Oliver, Zevenwolf, Officer Pappy, Snowdog, TW, Zetlock, and of course everyone else at the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Big thank you to you guys for making the channel possible in the first place. This should be the June list now. Go and take a look at Patreon. I'll put a post later, obviously, with the new list published. Then you can take a look through it. And if you are missing from any of those, scream at us until that is fixed. Thank you as well in the meantime, of course, to Mantle, Oyazan, Spirelli, Flom, Larry the Emu, Seppi141, Blackman00, Plumby, Tofu10, Icy the Great, 
Lady Cerulean, Bordun, Donald, Astro, and Monty as well.